Hi everyone! This is Robin and I am going to demonstrate the new pink cuddle bug. This one was from HSN. I purchased it um, over the weekend and I, it, came, it arrived yesterday so it was really fast. It is a, comes in a bundle. It comes with one A plate, two B plates, but there's no C plate. So if you're going to be using dies, you probably need to invest in one of those from the, your local craft store. And it came with all of these embossing folders. So it's actually, I did the math, a pretty good deal so um, I'm going to demonstrate it and do a little card and I'm going to use one of these strip embossing folders just the tiny ones and put it all together for you the first thing I'm going to do is open my cuddle bug and that makes it section to my table so I can't move it and I am going to pick my strip of paper this is eight and a half by five and a half we're just making an A2 size card and I am just going to use this strip on the very end I'm just going to add it right here. I want it to be just on the very edge of it. Kind of move it around a little bit, get it to where you want it. Okay, that's good for me. And now I'm going to put my A plate down, my B plate, and put this between my B and my B. See if I can keep it in the spot that I want it to be in. Okay, and put it through. Now this is the first time I've ever used this cuddle bug so we will see how the you'll hear it. Did you guys hear that? Did you hear that? It went because <laughs> it's pretty tight. The cuddle bugs when you first get them you'll hear a lot of squeaking and weird noises but that's absolutely normal. So and the plates are all clean and shiny. They're not cracked yet which they will also get. Okay so I have that strip on the bottom of my card and now I'm going to turn it into a card. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do here is fold over my card. Eight and a half by eleven and a half. I'm sorry, five and a half by eight and a half. I'm so used to saying the same thing here. And I've picked my colors already. I'm using so this is pretty and pink by Stampin' Up. I'm using basic black, and I've cut a one inch strip of it's called melon mambo, something like that. And I'm going to have that on there. And okay, so first thing, let's see. I am going to have ribbon and add ribbon on it. I'm going to go ahead and put this all down. I just got an order in this week with some new ribbon and some new colors, so I wanted to try them out. Okay, add my black on where I want it, right about here. And this is my ATG 714 gun. Okay. I have many videos showing how to use the 714 or lots of other adhesive. I love adhesive. Okay, put that on here. See my, let me zoom this in for you. Okay, now I've used the new Just Because cards that will be coming out shortly. And I've cut this frame and I've cut this pie. So I'm going to figure out where I want that. But first I'm going to use this blue gingham ribbon that coordinates with my blue paper. And I'm going to tie let me see if I can do a bow. Do you think I can do a bow? Because I'm so used to doing the same kind of card, <laughs> the same kind of ribbon and bow. I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. If I'm comfortable with something, I usually stick with it. Okay, make this a little bit longer here. Let's do a bow. Because I used to be really good at bows when I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Wow. Well, maybe not great, but it was okay. I was okay with bows. Okay, so I'm going to hold it down here, and maybe I'm not going to do a bow. Hmm. Let me see. Well, maybe I will. Actually, I don't think it's long enough, so sorry. You guys were all ready for me to do a bow, and I didn't do one, so I'll try that when I have a longer piece of ribbon. I cut it a little bit too short for a bow for me. Okay, now... I'm going to add my frame on and this right here. But first, I'm going to stamp the word yummy using my Pink Stamper Simply Sweet Occasion stamp set. It says yummy, and I'm using a paper tray ink True Black. I just got this in yesterday, or yeah, it was yesterday, and I've heard it's a lot richer and deeper black than the Stampin' Up! ink pad that I've been using for years. So we're going to try it out on here. Yummy. Yay! 
It's so cute. And it is nice and rich black. Okay. Now I'm going to use lots of dimensionals. Lots and lots. Speed this process up for you. Okay, and here you have it. Let me put my yummy pie on here. Isn't that a cute pie? It's going to just be right here above the yummy. Okay, now we need to add one more thing. What do you think it's going to be? Okay, if you've said stickles, then you guessed right. I love to add stickles on my projects. Okay, just the finishing touch. Now, when I was using the Just Because cards, when you actually look at, you can look on uh, Cricut.com, look under Just Because Cards, and you can see that this frame did not go with this pie. And I had to mess around with the sizes because they're all proportionate to the card that you use on the cartridge. So I had to mess around with the sizes, and I had to mess around with the size. So I did um, cut a couple other sizes that I'll let my kids play with, so you have to mess around with but that. But other than that, I think it turned out great. So I hope you have a fabulous day.